Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you're a Godot game engine developer and you want to publish your game on the Nintendo Switch, this is most likely the least passive resistance that you are going to find out there. And this is an interesting new publishing program from GOTM. I think GOTM stood for Game of the Month. I don't know if it still does anymore, but what it is is basically an online hosting service for Godot-based games. I checked this out uh, about a year or two ago. Uh, it's come a long way since then. If you want to check it out, it is available at gotm.io. And the best way I can think about it is this is kind of like Newgrounds is to Flash as GOTM is to Godot. So it gives you a way of publishing games online, completely free by the way. So if you're just hosting a game jam and you just want to share your games with people online, uh, you can publish up a, um, you basically just create a PCK file, upload it to their servers, and they take care of the rest for you uh, completely for free. Now there is a premium side of things here that I don't fully understand, but if you want to come out and check out a number of games written using the Godot game engine, there are a ton hosted on gotm.io, but the key thing here is their new publishing program, which we will get to in just a minute. Now in terms of GOTM.io features, it is hosting for Godot game engine games, about as easy as it gets. You can play games for free, by the way, if you want to go and just check some out, load up your browser, any kind of device, super quick loading times, quick and easy setup. So if you come up here, there is a dashboard you could go ahead in, or you could just go ahead and upload your game right there. Really simple process. Again, I think you just pick the PCK file and upload it. Uh, fast loading, it's got their own compression uh, scheme in place to make web-based games play faster. Instant play, so you can just send a link to a friend and it is free. Uh, it's perfect for game jams. Uh, it's got multiplayer support out of the box, so the high-level Godot networking works automatically in GOTM. Another thing you've been dealing with, like, uh, port forwarding or anything like that. So if you needed to host a game online, uh, they have multiplayer support out of the box, as well as their own um, plug-in to their own other features. So things I think like leaderboards, etc. They have a custom GDScript API, so if you want to GOTMify your game, you can add additional features using GDScript within your game itself. And then interestingly enough, so it's optimized for Godot, obviously, continual updates. But the key thing here is no ads or microtransactions. So you make fun games, GOTM does the rest. But the business model, innovative business model, earn a living on making quality games. There is way too much ambiguity here. I don't understand how you are going to make money without the need for ads or microtransactions. So you're going to get paid based on the number of people that play your games, but unless they introduce some kind of a subscription service, which would be a really hard sell, I don't know how this is actually going to work. At the same time, uh, you can sell merchandise and there's some... Uh, studio things here. So if you want to get rid of watermarks or have a different loading screen uh, and other features, there's going to be a paid version of GOTM for publishers. Uh, there's also going to be a studio plan and a player premium plan. The, the details of all of this, how they're going to make money, how are they going to um, support their developers and all that stuff, I have no idea. A lot of it is coming soon and hopefully there is something there and not just wishful thinking. But this next part, it really, in a way, doesn't matter. Oops. Wait. Right here is what they're doing is launching the GOTM publishing program. And what this allows you to do is make a premium game of which that actually means I do not know on GOTM.io and you can publish it on the Nintendo Switch. So that's kind of the condition here. They'll publish your game and port your game, by the way. You need to know nothing about Nintendo Switch development. It is all taken care of for you. And I got to say, the, the revenue share and the setup of this are about as fair as I have ever seen. So if you ever wanted to get your game on the Nintendo Switch, you have no developer relationship with any publishers or anything like that, this could be a great opportunity for you. It's a way to get your game published on uh, GOTM.io uh, GOTM as a premium game. Again, not 100% certain what premium game actually means, as well as on the Nintendo Switch. So you can create promotional, they, so they will create promotional material such as the trailer. You'll need to have that on the Nintendo Switch store to sell the game. Thumbnails and so on, paid marketing, etc. And then they will pay a third party company. They will pay, by the way, not you. They will pay a third party porting company to make the Nintendo Switch port. Now there are some caveats there. You're going to have to submit your source code so that they could do that. You're going to need to do periodic updates, etc. Uh, so details of it. How can I take part? Well, there's a couple things here. You need to have either a fully finished game, a working progress or a good solid demo uh it needs to have at least two hours worth of gameplay now if you're asking the question well, what is two hours of gameplay would tetris or pac-man qualify yeah what they basically mean is this is a game that won't be a one and done and over in two hours or less type experience and you're gonna basically submit to them so they'll decide as part of the submission process but your game needs to either have good replayability or two hours of content or story attached to it uh the application process is three parts first they send in an application that you want to 
be part of it. Second, the game will be played. And if it all sounds good, you kind of get together and talk to each other and see how it goes. If you want to send it off to them, basically upload your game somewhere or upload it on GOTM.io and then send them an email and they will check it out and get back to you. Um, if you get accepted in, uh, there's basically a contract that signs up terms of revenue, share, obligations, and so on. We will view the contract in just a second. You also have to join their Discord server. You will get a special flair to show that you are in the program and access to a special uh uh, Discord server, basically there. Uh, you can publish games on channel. Sorry, not server. Channel. Uh, you'll be able to publish uh, to publish the game on Nintendo Switch. The porting company needs to periodically test the game to make sure problems related to the Nintendo Switch are found, which means access to the project, including source code, will have to be shared. Uh, data will not be shared, used, modified outside of the porting company, though. So uh, one of those things to be aware of. You are not porting to the Nintendo Switch. Someone else is doing that for you. And here is probably the most interesting, and I would say fair parts of it, is what does this cost? And this costs you nothing. There are zero upfront costs to this, which is why this deal is very special. Instead, it is paid by sharing revenue from the platforms. Developer and uh, GOTM share the revenue from GOTM.io based on regular revenue share program. Again, I do not know the exact speed t details of that. I don't see them monetizing GOTM yet, so this is going to probably be a coming in the future type thing. But the big, big thing you're going to want to know is, okay, well, how is the Nintendo Switch revenue uh, divvied out? And basically, it boils down to Nintendo takes, I think, 30% off the hop. So you've got that remaining 70%, and that 70% is split between GOTM and its partners and the developer at a 70-30 share. So of that remaining 70%, uh, GOTM will get 70% of it, and you will get 30% until... $4,375 US are earned, which is basically the cost of porting, publishing to the Switch, promotional materials, overhead, and so on, at which point the revenue share flips, and you get 70%, and GOTM gets 30%. I gotta say, $4,375 for someone to port a game over to the Nintendo Switch and to for them to publish it and get through the process and all that stuff, that is a bargain. And now I'm not saying you're going to get a ton out of this publishing program. It's not like you were dealing with Activision here or some of that scope, but it is getting your game onto a platform uh, that you probably would struggle to do otherwise, and you don't have to deal with the work, and they're actually fronting the costs of the porting. So until you know, so if there is a loss to be made, GOTM is losing all of the money here. Now you may not ever make a cent, but you're not putting your own neck into the noose here, which actually makes this quite a good deal. Uh, and your game will be published on GOTM Premium, whatever that is, as well as the Nintendo Switch. Now, of course, the game also has to be accepted onto the Nintendo Switch, but I don't really think that's an issue anymore because. I don't know, but Nintendo Switch has really turned into a shovelware platform, so you can get anything on there. And that's kind of a double-edged sword, too, because the chances of your game selling well gets harder the more crap that's on there, but a lower threshold makes it more likely that your game will get on there. It's sort of like the Steam uh, green light versus what Steam became after kind of argument here. So, by the way, can you still publish to just GOTM? Yeah, of course. Uh, does the game really need to be two hours long? Yes. Uh, does it have to have two-hour story? No. So something like Tetris or Pac-Man or whatever would be fine. Uh, it's basically got to have two hours of enjoyable gameplay. You can see a couple of the games that they consider good enough. Uh, Mission Cover-Up and Walker Demolition. You can play those in your browser if you want to check them out. Uh, there are monthly checkups. A lot of track of how you're doing, but also to keep you motivated and focused. Can I be kicked out of the program? Yes, you can. Uh, can I still upload the game to other platforms as a paid game? This is actually pretty sweet. So yes, you can. So you can still publish your game to... Steam or Epic Games Store or your own site or whatever you want, but you do have to make it available on GOTM.io uh, and you will need to keep them up to date. Uh, so I'm assuming that uh, the, the porting part of, of doing updates to the Switch side of things will be handled by them and their porting house, but it is definitely an interesting program. You're going to think, okay, now the contract's going to ruin it, but realistically, the contract is pretty, pretty much exactly what their summary said. Um, they don't really get into, again, the details of what a premium game is on GOTM.io. I'm still interested in seeing what their business model is when they're not having ads. And, and, and I don't think that subscriptions are working. So I don't really know what that part actually flies as. But again, I think a lot of people that would be most interested in this would be more to get their game onto the Switch. And having a publishing arrangement where you're making 70% of the end revenue when someone else is absorbing all the costs to a smaller developer, that is definitely going to be an appealing thing. So if you've got a good um, Godot game on development or finished or whatever, this could definitely be 
uh, an interesting experience for you. This is the extent of the publisher agreement. It, it's, it's in pretty plain English. I would definitely recommend checking it out. But those are the details. So on the whole, an interesting proposition for sure. Again, some details about what's going to happen to GOTM.io going forward. And if you're looking for a place to just publish your uh, Godot game for people to play online, do go ahead, check out GOTM. It's probably the easiest hosting you're going to find for Godot. And like I said, they have an SDK so you could do online server stuff in your game, make it a little bit more snazzy if you are going to commit to being on the GOTM.io platform. But the big thing here ultimately is if you'd like to see your game published on the Nintendo Switch uh, and you think it's good enough that GOTM will take a flyer on it, this is a pretty good deal. I'm actually kind of, I like the idea of this publishing arrangement. And a lot of times with smaller indie games, publisher arrangements stink. This one, it seems quite solid to be honest. So I'd be interested in hearing what you think of this. What you think of this opportunity? Have you used GOTM in the past? Are you gonna check it out now? And do you think that, uh, how do you think GOTM Premium is going to work? Anyways, let me know what you think of this publishing arrangement. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.